So I'm never sure what to say at the start of these videos. It's a new series. I want people to support it and everything. But I just want to say thank you. This eyeball has been staring at me for 20 minutes as I'm trying to do an intro. And uh, I just want to say thank you for supporting me over the past couple of years since I've been doing this. Uh, it's been over three years now. So much love to all of you. I'm actually curious when you joined my channel and also where you're from. And uh, we've been averaging like 20,000 likes on every new series that we've done the past few months. So I'm hoping this does the same, but it's not required. But hope you enjoy the long intro video. At least I think it's long. I don't know. Let's do it though. Hey, G. Incredible. The Queen Zenobia. This thing is lucky to be afloat. Take us around. Let's find a boarding point. It's been 94 minutes since Chris and Jessica dropped off the radar. But the interpolation from their last known coordinates puts them... Right here on this ship. Alright, so right now we're searching for Chris Redfield. Uh, so this actually takes place in between uh, Resident Evil 4 and 5 from what I can gather. Oh shit. I was, you know, this game came out on 3DS a long time ago. It's actually like this time last year, maybe. I don't like the sound of that. And uh, I was looking forward to playing it. I didn't know how the transfer would be. And so far, the game is playing smooth. The stench. It's been abandoned for a while. Oh shit! Look at this guy. Ugh, it smells like rotting flesh. There's a little bit of frame rate issue when you go to open doors. I don't know if that's just the 360 version. That's what I'm playing on right now, so. Oh, hey. shit. I don't think we're alone. Wait, he went that way. And the door's right here. So I played Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City last year on my channel, and then 6 as well. Uh, and so far, 6 was my favorite of the two. I don't like that at all. What the fuck was that? There's blood coming from the ducks. Can I bust his ass up? Yeah, the, so, so far this game plays so much smoother than Resident Evil 6 did. Resident Evil 6, some people thought no it was a power, train wreck. Which means no elevator for us. I played like every campaign on that game. Just for you guys. I had to. No, but uh, well, let me go ahead and... He's got something on him. I can't grab anything from him? Oh shit, it's are we gonna working. jump? Alright guys, anytime I play a game with either zombies or infected, I don't know what's gonna be in this one. I think it primarily takes takes place on the ship. Which game was it? Was it Resident Evil Zero? That was on a train? I, I can't remember. They never really publicized that game too much. Let me check these lockers. 
But in, in any kind of zombie or infected game, I like to ask your favorite zombie movie. Go. Mine's still Shaun of the Dead. I know I say that a lot. But I'm a huge fan of zombies in general, like The Walking Dead, all sorts of stuff. What the hell? Did you see the size of that rat? It's shorted out. So this actually looks a lot more like Resident Evil 5. The power still works here. Maybe we gotta get behind it. All the Resident Evil games don't do that. I can't make out this picture. It's cause you need them updated graphics. Anything there? No? Hang on. Huh, the ship's register. It was named for some ancient queen. I have a feeling like we're gonna meet her eventually. What is that? Grape grape drink? Frozen drinks? So far, I'm really impressed, guys. 3DS to this. I did a fantastic job, so... I don't know how the scare factor is gonna go, though. Ugh, the face is smashed in completely. So Jill Valentine's first appearance was the first Resident Evil game, the one with the live-action cutscene at the very beginning. Take a look at these. Take a look at what? Parker, give me a hand here. Sure, no problem. I got something. I think it's a gun. Now what? Give me a sec. <coughs> so, it's not Chris. What the hell? It kinda looks like the amnesia monster, doesn't it? What the fuck is that thing? Get back! Is it dead? This explains our missing crew. This is not good. Where are you, Chris? This sunny and idyllic Mediterranean coast was the site of one of the world's greatest structures. It took a full 11 years to finish constructing the world's first Aquapolis, the floating city of Terra Grigia. A sustainable metropolis operating on a massive solar energy matrix and equipped with the latest green technologies. Never before had solar energy been used to supply power to an entire city. But, in 2004, Veltro, a terrorist group opposing the city's development, launched a bioterrorist attack. They not only released a virus, but also several creatures, known as bioorganic weapons, further complicating the situation. This launched one of the worst tragedies the world has ever seen. The FBC, the world's leading counter-bioterror organization operating under the auspices of the U.S. was called in to direct efforts to contain the attack. The BSAA, a counter-bioterror NGO, which operates independently of the interests of any one country, went in as observers to assist the FBC. Realizing the need for immediate and decisive action, Supreme Local Headquarters issued the order to use the city's solar energy matrix on itself. 
Media outlets around the world began to refer to the incident as the Terra Grigia panic. Following the incident, the FBC announced it has successfully disbanded the terrorist group called Veltro. It is now 2005, and a sense of calm and security is finally returning to the people. But, as you can see, the lost city of Terra Grigia remains inaccessible, a silent and potent symbol of the threat that bioterror poses for people around the world. Join the fray. Well, my doctor told me I need exercise. <laughs> I assume you both know that the FBC has cordoned off the entire area. However, in the past few weeks, a number of mysterious carcasses have washed up. I guess the FBC couldn't cover up a mess this big, huh? Anyone who knows what happened here is going to put two and two together. And that's why I've sent the BSAA in to investigate. Did you pick up your new equipment from Quint? The, uh, Genesis or something. Is that its name? You didn't bother to read the manual, did you? No, uh, I brought it with me, just in case. I hope you read quickly, because you're going to need it on your mission. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. All right, so we got a little bit of a background for the game so far now. I must say that I'm really impressed. This looks like more of like an extension of Resident Evil 5. Ah, since look we're searching at this for mess. Chris Redfield, so. Oh, rotted to hell. What the hell? Skin so pale. I've never seen anything like it. Use the Genesis to get a reading on it. Oh, this is pretty badass. This Again, is a whole new dynamic. Decent sample size to get an accurate reading. Scan the carcasses on the beach and send me your data. All right, so we gotta go body hunting, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so this takes place. Oh fuck! What the fuck? Jesus! I kind of figured that. Don't worry, we're on it. Can you kill it? Jesus! I'm gonna let him use all his ammo. Everything else is good. Uh, yeah. We're just gonna just stay the fuck away from that. <gasps> Jesus! Anyone else remember that movie, The Blob? Like it was made in the 80s. Well, the one one I saw was made in the 80s. This is kind of what that reminds me of. Shit. So I got a uh, two two herbs. Oh yeah, I'm staying away from that shit. Oh man, the I I scan all the stuff on the beach. Oh, let me scan this. Am I close enough? There it is. <gasps> what the fuck? I can tell whenever they put this on 3DS, I thought it was going to be a great game. I just, there's no way to really record that from what I guess. So it just now got released on all the consoles. Newspaper from last year. Oh yeah, what, what is your favorite Resident Evil game? Uh, without playing this one, I can't really judge it and include it in the mix, but... 
Oh, nice. That's basically just swapping through that. I only have one grenade and a handgun. I gotta stay away from this shit. Mine's probably two, just because Claire and uh, Leon's first entrance there. Claire is the uh, sister of Chris. Jesus! Is there anything else? I'm gonna do my best to make this first part pretty long for you guys, so I appreciate all the likes and support. Uh, 2013's been a great year for my channel, or our channel really. And uh, I think on average most series that I've started have gotten in between like 15 to 20,000 ratings or likes if you would. So uh, much love for that. Let's see where else we're going. I think I've pretty much scanned everything. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I actually missed this right here. I don't know if it just closes off after I've scanned everything. Let me scan that too. My guess is I'm supposed to kill this one. That's the only thing. Take a grenade, bitch! Is it dead yet? I suppose. So why'd you quit the FBC for this outfit? I wanted to be more involved. I wanted to fight. I see you two are okay. Continue with the investigation, but proceed with extreme caution. Careful now. Don't worry. I've done this before. I've got something. What is this? If it's an engineered mutation, this could prove a link. I'll run some tests on this. Continue with the investigation. We don't have enough data to run a complete analysis. Gather some more samples from the carcasses on the beach. I don't pay you to play. I pay you to work. I've already scanned everything. I guess I'll scan them all again. I don't know. So do I have any Walking Dead fans here? I'm sure I do. I did the Walking Dead Survival Instinct and everybody thought that game was god-awful, but... Then there was the aspect of people just wanted to see the story, and that's kind of what I'm hoping happens with this. I've scanned everything once. I'll go ahead and scan the other side too. Oh uh, yeah, I think this game uh, overall it plays a lot smoother than Resident Evil 6. I don't see a lot of quick time events. So it seems like it went back to its roots just a little bit. The second I thought that it was going to be a complete thing where I'm actually sitting there on a, on a ship the entire game. Of course, it cuts to like a beach somewhere, so I thought that was pretty funny. There's a little blob right there. I missed you. Shit. So I got all but 8%. That's one more that I'm missing. So we gotta find it. My guess is it might be over here near the water. Oh, look at this. You know they hid some shit over here. There it is. There you are. That is everything. Now let's go talk to homeboy and see what's up. Getting your uh, analyzer rate up to 100% will earn you health recovery time. Cool. I've collected enough samples. Good. Get them to me ASAP. Yeah, the graphics are what really throws me off. I didn't expect them to be this good for uh, a game that they ported from 3DS. What the fuck? I have no more grenades. Damn your mouth up, bitch. I'm guessing 
shoot him in the mouth is the, the best thing to do. Shit. Why is he so close to it, you know? I was gonna ask what year you guys were born and where you're from. I was born in 1987, so I'm not sure the age group that I usually, I guess, talk to. Some peace and quiet. All in a day's work for you two, eh? All right, enough chit chat. Get that sample data to me. There you are. Nice work. No doubt about it. These corpses show signs of viral infection. And I bet it's no coincidence they came through the FBC's blockade. Well, we did all we can. Now, we wait for the results to come back from HQ. Huh? It's the emergency line. Yeah, it's me. Uh-huh. What? Yes, that's fine. I'll take it from here. We'll have to speed things up. Starting now. Good, get to it. Jill, Parker, you two are still on the case. What happened? We lost contact with Chris and Jessica. When? How? We're not certain. I've sent their last known coordinates to your terminals. The signal was lost over the ocean. I thought they were in the mountains chasing Feltro. But judging from their position, they must be... On a ship. I'll go back to HQ, take charge of the search and rescue. You two will be my eyes out there. Yes, sir. I guess that's it for the first episode, or the first part of the first episode. I, I kind of like that they went back the way Resident Evil 5 broke it into chapters. So it makes it for easier videos. Alright, so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do the next one and combine it with this video for you guys. And uh, I will see you there. You think these things got to Chris and Jessica? I hope not. Hey, no one's saying Chris is dead. All right, then let's find him already. Did you hear that? Was that the lock? I'll check it out. Okay, I'll see what I can find. They pretty much that. just Tarantino that whole thing. Trail. Search for Chris. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that easy. Oh, okay. So right now I don't have much, uh, too much ammo left. Can I? I don't think you can jump across there. Usually games like this don't have that option. I was gonna say Resident Evil 3 Nemesis was another great game. Uh, she was the main character in that too. That's when they met Carlos and uh, who else? That's when the Nemesis was there. That was the first. They had like the tyrant from the second one, but if you go through a door, he's not on the other side. But with Nemesis, he was the first one that would actually follow you through like a loading screen. And that was some scary shit. I'm showing my age now. What the fuck? I'm telling you, that's just a little bit of the amnesia monster right there. Oh wow, two shots to the face, did it? I really need some more ammo bed. I'm like two shots away from being empty. Something tells me that... I'm not sure, what what's the name of the movie where the ship's like, I guess it's possessed? Where like electronically not... Not like overrun by zombies. I never finished watching it, but it seemed like a good movie. So this is a very intriguing concept, to me at least. 
Okay. So what I can say so far is it has its moments. It's not quite anchor mark on the door, so I need an anchor key. I like that, that it, it's not really telling you too much about it. It's locked. No shit. That didn't sound too good. Is that is that Sherry? Oh fuck. Whoa! Jesus Christ! That's the kind of shit you see in Dead Space, you know? Please be some ammo. Yes! Go ahead and keep these 12 rounds handy. Alright, so I'm not sure I gotta get to this ammo, but I'm not sure if I can make it. This, this woman just got absolute slaughtered. Oh, fuck. I'm telling you, that is that is the same monster from Amnesia. Has to be. Oh god. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Scared the shit out of me. I, there's no easy way to really get past him. You just have to hope for the best. Their face looks like Venom from Spider-Man. Oh god. Get the fuck off me. I didn't do a quick turnaround with the controls. Okay, he's good. What's going on? I found a survivor. The BOW's got her, though. Who was she? I'm still trying to piece that together. All right, time to examine. Target not found. See what the Genesis can tell me. Well, that's what I just tried, but nothing. Should I should I move her first? What the hell is that? Crew quarters area key. Okay. So currently the menu is pretty basic. Not a whole lot really there. Parker, I couldn't find anything out on the woman, but I did find a key. Copy that. Hold on to it. We just might need it. Is that it? So she's pretty much dead. Okay. Uh, there's no bouncing back from that. I'm gonna go back to the other area where the crew key will work. I'm not really sure. You know what? The, the thing about these Resident Evil games is they all have the same familiar way of being played. What the fuck? Are you kidding? Luckily, that was my last bullet. Jesus. I found Chris. Make your way to my location. What do you mean you found Chris? Thought I was supposed to find him. There better be some ammo. Yes, there is. Take another hand grenade any day of the week. Okay, this is the part where I need to save ammo. If you ever played any of the other Resident Evil games, you will know that saving ammo and herbs is something you need to do to survive. Okay. Now let's go ahead and head back to this. Oh, fuck you. Jesus. Holy shit, that scared me. Moves at the same speed though, which is all right, I guess. I'm just trying to get back. So overall, at a ten, if I had to give this game a rating, I don't see any reviews yet. The DS version or the 3DS version for Nintendo, uh, it got pretty good reviews, like eight, eight and a half, something like that. So Dude, come I don't on. know yet. We gotta help Chris. So this is the area. Chris. Chris. What the fuck? What is this? Oh, great. It's a trap! 
trap. Alright, well thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I tried to make it as long as I could. I figured I'd just do the entire first episode. But with that being said, I uh, appreciate all the likes and support. If you want more, if you want more of this series, just do what you guys do. I always show that support. And I'll see you next time.